Hello there, Pokemon trainers. What is up? This is Trainer Connor, and I am back with another Wi-Fi Bell video. Remember, if you like this video, all you gotta do is like this video and subscribe. I will continue to make videos for y'all whenever I get the chance to do so. It's just so hard with college and work because I started working a week ago. It's Working out really well, no pun intended, but you know. And then you have to do your chores, you have to attend all of your classes, all that stuff, all in the one week. I just can't make a video on top of that. So whenever I get free time, which I do have some today when recording this, I will make a video for y'all. So that is a, some good news out of it. I will hopefully make another video this weekend. Uh, Provided that nothing weird happens, but you know what? I'll do the best I can. So that's what my goal is set for, for the time being, for the future. And uh, with that said, let's begin this video. I will go over this real quickly. I don't want to spend too much time, but we have an Ubers battle today. You see, I have an Eagle Slash. I have a Blaziken, a Blaziken, wow, and then a Rayquaza, and we have Xerneas. Ultra Beast, Nihiligo, and Zapdos. My opponent has a Zekrom, a Genesect, Blaziken, Shaman Skyform. You don't see that Pokemon at all anymore. I don't know why. It's, it's pretty good, actually, now that I think about it. I haven't really used a Shaman Skyform, so I need to start using that Pokemon, man. Like, honestly, you, you have to. Um, we have... Gengar to deal with, and a Primal Kyogre as well to back it all up. So with that said, let's go ahead and play this match right here, right now. So my opponent starts off with Zekrom, and I will start with Zapdos. Fortunately, I have Hidden Power Ice. Hits all the dragons in this uber tier that we have. You know, a lot of dragons take care of the whole tier system, I guess you could say that. So having a Hidden Power Ice user like Zapdos, it's going to work out really well. Um, it works really well in this scenario because Zekrom tries to paralyze me, but it does not work in this generation. So Zekrom was completely useless. Good job, Zek uh, good job Zapdos, man. Uh, Zapdos doing some work. So now, uh, I was really debating whether the status set was Choice Banded or Choice Scarf. In the end, I think it's Choice Banded because, number one, he keeps using Iron Head, and the fact that it's doing a lot of damage even though it's not very effective. So this happens to Eagle Slash and my um, boys again. And it's funny because... You just have to use a fire type move to take care of a Pokemon like this, where it's four times weak to fire type moves. All I have to do is just use a fire type move, but my opponent is being really creative with using Genesect throughout the whole battle, so props to my opponent for doing that. Um, he goes into, or she goes into Kyogre, Goes into the primal reversion, so there you go. We have primal killer to deal with, which is, makes it really hard. Uh, I do have Zapdos, so I have to be careful when using him. I don't want him to get hit by a, a hydro pump that's boosted in the rain and whatnot. So basically, what I want to do is sacrifice E Slash, but he misses the hydro pump, which is okay. I will uh, do some more damage. With Shadow Sneak. And you know, that gave a little bit of damage, but you know, it's not enough. He goes for Ancient Power. Very confused by that because it's not very effective. Q Regal, the Ego Slash, I nicknamed it Regal. Uh, hopefully that fits. Now he gets the boost from Ancient Power, so that explains why he's going for that move. He has a plus one in every stack or every category, which is very frightening. I do have Zapdos, and I am going to outspeed him. Choice Scarf. Zapdos wins. So that's why having Zapdos is very useful for this video. Alright, so now we have to deal with Genesect. I do have Heat Wave, but having a Choice Scarf means I cannot use Heat Wave 
right now. I I just I want to go back in the blaze again. That's all I have to do. I have to like use a fire type move to take care of Genesect. Unfortunately, I did it so wrong. I did it so wrong. Like I don't know what I should have done. I mean, sacrifice the Quaza or another Pokemon and then bring in Mega Mega Blaziken. Yeah, so that's basically what happened there. And because I made that mistake with Firebird, the Blaziken, dealing with Genesec is going to be a lot harder. You see that, and I, I'm going to try to finish him off, but I get flinched. I flinched because he uses Iron Head over and over. And that's the idea with Genesec, having a choice band of Genesec with Iron Head. You get to spam that move and you get flinches. That's the idea, and it's pretty good, actually. So anyway, we go back into uh, Zapdos. That's my win condition at this point. I only have Zapdos, Sequoia, and Xerneas. In addition to my Ultra Beast, which has not hit the battlefield yet. And we also have to take care of all the other mods that we have to uh, use. Like, you know, we have Gengar to deal with. We have Shaman Skyform. You all get the idea. Anyway, so I keep rambling on, but we see that I get flinched to death. With Zapdos. That's not fun, you guys. That is not... That's not cool. We need to take care of this Genesec guy right now. Because he takes care of Rayquaza there. I don't have extreme speed on this Rayquaza. Very unfortunate. So, I kind of let myself down in this video. Just because... It's a freaking Genesec. I really should have used... Something else. Did I take care of... Genesec. I will make sure I do that in the next video, or the next Uber's battle, which I don't know when that's going to happen, but I thought this would be a great video to come back from my absence. But anyways, we have Xerneas out here, and we also, um, we do take out Genesec finally, but you know, we have Shaman Skyform, so let's see what this Pokemon can do. Uh, like I said, I haven't really used or haven't seen Shaman Skyform that much in battle, um, most of the sets I remember is Fly and Leech Seed. We do see Energy Ball here, so that's a bonus. Yeah, it's just hard to use Shaman Sky Form. I think another reason why people don't use Shaman Sky Form is because the move set is pretty barren. Anyways, we went for Sludge Bomb with the Hill Go, the Ultra Beast, Garaboost. Gara Boost, if I can say that right. And um, he does have Gengar. Can't really do much to the Hill Girl that much, actually. Uh, Rock Poison and Gengar is also Poison. He can do something, but not much. I can't do him that much anyway either. Uh, the, I said that so wrong in my head. Oh my god, I'm a little bit tired. That's the idea there. Um, he goes for Shadow Ball. He gets another special defense drop. And that is unfortunate here. I wish I had a super effective move for Gengar, like a hidden power hidden power ground or something like that. This would have been a lot easier, but because I don't have that option, it's gonna come close. He goes for Destiny Bond, and Destiny Bond will not work. I'll make it not work, I guess. So we're going to go for Stealth Rock instead of attacking him, because I know once you use Destiny Bond, you're going to go down as well as Gengar. So it's like a double down, but I don't want to go down yet, because this is my last Pokemon. I don't want to lose. That's the idea. Uh, but I don't know how I'm going to take care of a Blaziken at this point. Blaziken, I don't think he hit the battlefield. Did he really hit the battlefield yet? No, I don't think so. So he's fresh and ready to go. He goes for the Mega Evolution. This is a tough moment, but then I go for Swords Bomb and it just kills it. So I don't know. I, I was close to losing this video. Like, honestly. And then I just did Swords Bomb and plus one boosted. I take care of Blaze again. So basically, this video was kind of crazy. Um. We had trouble with Genesec. Yes, that is something I need to fix. I don't want to deal with this ever again. 
And then you kind of get lucky with getting paralyzations, and you just you, you keep attacking at it, and then you have the momentum back on your side, get the beast boost, you use sludge bomb, and you take care of a mega blaze again. It's just like that. It happens so quickly. That's the idea. Like, you know, it happens so quickly. Um, so we won the battle. That's the idea there. I keep saying that, but great battle. I enjoyed that. But I really want to keep working towards handling certain Pokemon. Because Genesec, man, that, that was tough. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. If you end up liking this video, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next Wi-Fi battle video. Have a great week. And I'll see you during the weekend. Alright, take care.